on the line, and the game is about to begin. Okay, Shadow, let's get out there. Um, I don't see a disc. Who has the disc? I can see what line is going out for Shadow, and we can tell, hopefully, if it's a... Oh, it's a, it looks like it's a D-line, because Lisa Dang is out there. Okay. But Marge is there, too, along with uh, Ali Wallace. It's looking, oh, there's yeah, a they got the disc. Nightshade has the disc, so it must be that they're going to pull. Okay. Wow, it is loud out there. Wow. Okay, Sylvia Brown is pulling it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. All righty. Let's see. So. Gath is out there giving a few words is of advice what to do in this. The first quarter is about to start. Okay. As you know, the PUL games, they have four time. quarters, 12 minutes per quarter, wow, two minutes and 30 seconds between here. quarters, and a 10-minute halftime. Um, it seems like a long time, but better, it goes very quickly. Yeah, and uh, no, they're slightly come. different rules than uh, regular ultimate, which All probably right. for the youth watching is very interesting. Okay, right. here we I go. I think the first pull is about to start. First home game of DC Shadow. Here we go, Asako. Right now. There's the pull. There we go. Let's go, Sylvia. Yes, let's go and watch the. Marge picking it up. Marge, Marge picks up. Marie. Marie Pervier, rookie on this team. To Claire Trope. Claire Trope looking for the around. Another round to Lisa. Lisa finds the inside to Claire. Back to Lisa. Oh, nice little scoop there. Oh, just just too high for Kat Ritzman. Okay, that's the first turnover of the game. Let's go, let's go. Okay. It, the win might have popped that one up a little bit more than Lisa wanted it to do. Okay. Okay, first turnover, first break chance for Nashville Nightshade. Okay. This Mar Marie Pierrier is on the mark. That's uh, Sylvia who actually did the pull for Pull the first point. Oh. And another quick turnover. Marge goes back. Yes. Oh, Claire is wide Marge open. Walker, Marge Walker for the reset. She doesn't like that reset. She'll reset to Kat Ritzman. Kat. Kat goes. Kat goes. To Ali Wallace. Ali Wallace to Lisa. Lisa Dang scoops it up. Oh, that popped Ooh, up pop again. It. Let's go. Let's see. Yes. Secured by Claire Franz. Back to Marge. Yeah, Looking Kat. for Kat Ritzman. Looking for the continue. Oh, I think that's a foul call. Lefty Cat. Looking for a safe throw. Lefty magic. Finds Lisa. Lisa finds Cat again. And it, it looks Kat like Allie Wallace. Allie Wallace for the score, 19. See the replay again from Kat Ritzman to Ali Wallace. So uh, there were two turns, but um, DC Shadow holds. Now let's see what the D line will do. And Nightshade will have a chance to return the favor with their O line. So I think uh, we're going to see Tori on this as uh, O line handler. Mm -hmm. She pretty much does it all. Um, another person to kind of look for an O-line handler cutting, I mean not handler cutting, is uh, Becca, mm -hmm. Becca Henley, 
who is a number 22. Yes. So. O-line handler. I also have 16 Emily Branson as an O-line handler. All right. There goes Jamie Erickson. Around the pole. With the big, nice big pull from Jamie. All right. Catherine Gilbert picks up the disc. She actually scored the first goal of the season last year. Sends it around I mean, to Grace week. Robinson. Good quick work, disc work. Moving it, Tori sends it to the middle. Back to Rebecca Henley. To a very open Emily Branson. Catherine Gilbert. Oh, oh. Oh, and Tori Taylor saves it. So they stopped and watched yeah, it. Yeah, she tells, she tells her receiver where she wants the receiver to go. Good communication. And Nightshade working it down the, down the field with short, sure throws. Tight defense, but a nice inside oh. break. And then Catherine Gilbert assists to Tori Taylor. Nice hold from Nightshade. And Tori Taylor already making her mark on the That's field. That's it, right there, you got tip. Oh. Got it. Yeah, that, that was a big layout to save the score. There we go. These nice short insides are working well for Nightshade right now. They are. I think that's really what's going to help them is nothing big because I think the shadow will get anything up in the air. Right. And so the throws tend to pop up in this yep. wind. And it looks like Noelle Holmes is getting ready to pull for Nightshade. Probably pumped for a, a break about now. All right. Let's go. So two holds so far in the game. This is a n nice, exciting start to the game. So far, yes. It's a nice evening here at Carlini Field. Beautiful evening. I'm sure the players are wishing it would be a little, little bit, bit less <laughs> breezy, but. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? Yes, but summer in DC tends to be windy, yeah. as you know. Yes, we do. All right. Here comes the pull from Nightshade. Taking All it right. a little bit past halfway. That's good pull. That's good. Jackie. Jackie Wong picks up for uh, Shadow. She's not liking her options. Sammy is waiting there for the reset. Cammy Groom comes in. Ooh, nice. To Jackie, around all the way to Sammy, another rookie. Plays on a DC Rally. Cammy secures it. It was a little bit of a pop-up, but she secures the disc. Back to Jackie. Oh. Nice around from Jackie Wong. Yeah, to Lizzie. To Lizzie Laurie. I like the, the double reset system. One clears, another's there. Oh, oh, oh. oh. The yeah. upline from Lizzie just a little bit far. Yeah. It looked like Cammy kind of looked back to see if that was really for her because mm -hmm. it was just a little out of the way. Let's go, Lizzie. Get it back. Now, Nightshade with another chance to break early. Nice D this by This is Ellen. tight. Yes, tight handler, def a tight cutter defense. Uh, oh, I think she had it in her hand. Yeah, that was a good save by Sylvia Brown. Call and oh, field, timeout. Timeout. Looks like timeout, uh, Nashville. Yes. As you know, timeouts um, can be called by the player or by the sideline. So this one looks like the nightshade coaches took a timeout. In the PUL, when a timeout is called, um, you can substitute as many players as you want. So now that nightshade got a D, it might be that they want to put in their O-line to try to score using this chance for a break. And that's it. And like, unlike uh, ultimate in uh, club ultimate or recreation ultimate, you really have to be the person with the disc mm -hmm. to call that timeout. Right. You might have your coach yelling at you to call a timeout, mm -hmm. but it's 
never from the sideline mm -hmm. on the timeout. That's yeah. one of the differences for pro pro ultimate. Also, you can't do wholesale substitution, so that's, that's another big <laughs> that's difference. That's <laughs> huge. <laughs> we sometimes wish that, but mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, let's see who's on. All right, let's see what the what the substitutions were on the night shot. Night shot. It doesn't look like DC mm -hmm. had a big substitution. No, I don't think they really have anybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Catherine Gilbert comes back on the field to get the get the disc. So. Okay. Let's go, Anna. Upline. Nice upline. Oh. 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 And it's blocked by Flo. By Flo Brooks. Brooks. Another. Um, another rookie playing hot. Nice Jackie. Nice Throw Jackie. Nice up line to Sammy. Sammy resets to Cammy oh. Groom in the end zone. Way to be there. So that was a Jackie to Cammy. Long assist to Cammy Groom, who somehow always find seems to find that sweet spot in the end zone to score. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. But a, a good D by Florence Books to get the f get get it back. And so that is another hold okay. for DC Shadow. So a couple of turnovers, but they're finding their way to hold it. I think they're going to really, this will be kind of, I feel that Shadow could really come out here with a, looking for a break. Mm -hmm. um, here, I think... Nashville will be looking to hold again to keep the game close. They really don't want to um, let DC Shadow run away with this game just yet. It looks like Shadow is putting on some mixed lines yeah, with the O-line and D-line, which makes sense, I think, on a windy day. Especially as they're still kind of figuring everything out who's working. Mm -hmm. Claire Trope with the Claire Trope with the big pull. Yeah, three quarters of a field. Nightshade has a long field to work with. Gilbert with the disc. Oh, she was looking for that cutter, but looked away. But now she's back. Rebecca Henley over to Gilbert again. Oh, a nice catch. Gilbert back. Oh, oh, unlucky, unlucky drop from Tori Taylor. Lisa, so oh, no. Oh, and the pop. Oh, the pop. good, good uh, heads up D from the Nightshade player. Um, now they get to try again to hold. Gilbert with the disc again. Looking, looking. She needs the reset. Can she save it? Oh, nice attempt at saving it. But the disc is on the ground. Ali Wallace to Claire Trope. It's calm defense, calm offense. Marge Taylor to Claire Trope. Yes. That's the first break of That's the game. It. Marge is used to throwing it to Claire. Yes. It's hard not to throw it to Claire <laughs> when she's uh, <laughs> so wide open. <laughs> so wide open. Um, That's an early break for Shadow. So now we want to see how Nightshade will rebuild from here. I think they just need to just shake it off and keep working hard. They're playing well. It's just one or two execution errors. Right, right. I mean, it happens on both ends, too. Mm -hmm. The wind. Yeah. We saw it pop up. There has not been a turnover-free point yet in this game. It's very surprising. Well, it is breezy. It is. Yes, it is breezy. But mm -hmm. I still kind of feel like there can be a couple more mm -hmm. consistent I right. guess it's really inconsistent when too. It's not yeah. just. So we're seeing Rachel Varm, mm -hmm. Grace still Castro. Um, still six and a half miles <laughs> per hour out there, but I'm it seeing it some it things it blow around. It, it looks, looks a lot more than that, really. Sylvia Brown. Oh, and Elise Peters with the pull for DC Shadow. Because of the break, they'll be going different way. I wonder if how the wind affects that. So it landed out, so they get to bring it to the middle. 
Sylvia Brown with the disc. It looks like it's a person matchup, although there's a little bit of a bracketing type. Yes, I think it's yeah. a little bit junky. They're trying to really cover the unders, it looks like. Now that's how they scored the last one. So. Yes. Um, it's a big reset over successful. Sylvia Brown. That's a big shot from Sylvia. Incomplete, unfortunate. So DC Shadow with another break chance. Annalise Peter walking to pick it up. Peters. Going to our club teammate. Nice cut from, yes, Carolyn Normile. Nice around backhand. Continues on. Big backhand just is caught by Jamie Erickson, who then completes another score into the end zone for Lauren Johnson. Very nice. That's another quick break for Shadow. Amy Jer Jamie Erickson with a nice catch. All right. Lauren Johnson is a returner. She uh, moved away, but then came back to the DC area and has rejoined um, DC Shadow. There's that Annalise see, to Caroline. Yeah, Annalise Peter. <laughs> Carolyn Normile, another kind of complete player with all the throws and all the moves. They've played on uh, Shadow for a couple of years together. Yes. And they're coming in from Pittsburgh. Um, it looks like DC is starting to rack up some breaks. Um, Nashville needs to uh, stop the bleeding and rebuild. All right, Lizzie Laurie with a pull. Yep. And Florence Brooks running down there, setting it up. Yes. Catherine oh. Gilbert again with the disc. She swings it over to Emily Branson, back to Gilbert. Oh. Little junky D there. Yes, Story Taylor in the middle. I think there is a foul call. Jackie with an enthusiastic mark. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie is enthusiastic. Very much, very communicative. All right, there's a little lot of give and goes happening Switching. from. Oh, oh, that was great. By is that Lauren? I think is that Ellen? No, no. Lauren four number four. That is. I think that is. Uh, Ellen Moo. Yeah, that yeah. yeah. You're mm -hmm. right. So it was Ellen. Oh, Jackie is saying that the disc is warped. Ellen knocked it out with so much force <laughs> <laughs> that the disc got tacoed. Reset to Sammy. Shadow are doing a give go just like to Lizzie. Oh. oh. Unfortunate incomplete. Nightshade gets to try again to hold here. Gilbert with the disc. Nice fakes. Oh, nice pickup. Scooped up, scooped up by Rebecca Henley. Over to Grace Robinson. Catherine Gilbert again. Oh, nice, Tori Taylor. Lizzie almost got the, the poach D there. Around, over to Gilbert again. She doesn't like that cut, it's a little too close. Grace Robinson. Oh, the inside, the little inside Ooh, worked. Oh, again. Yeah, keeping it in bounds. Rebecca Henley over. Tori oh, Taylor. Oh, oh Tori. Oh, Jackie with a nice D, but Tori Taylor recovers. Oh, oh, nice recovery. Nice catches from Nightshade players. Oh, that's inside, oh. but a little bit too sharp for Tori Taylor. Oh, that was good offense until there. I know. Just yeah. started fading away. Yeah. 
It is exhausting to keep cutting and cutting and cutting. Jackie with the disc. Resets to Sammy. Oh, nice D attempt from Nightshade. But pressure there. There's real pressure there. That's Jackie it. swings it over to Emma Jones. Emma Jones over to Cammy. Emma Jones also open. Jackie with a little bit of dancing, but oh, yes. Ellen's nice. tall, jumps up, elevates for it. Lizzie with the disc. Lizzie and with the long shot. To Emma. To Emma Jones. Emma Jones over to Florence. Florence. That's All a rookie right. to rookie score right there. Emma Jones <laughs> with the first assist. And Florence with her first goal of the game. There's that smile. DC Shadow is starting to run away with it a little bit. I like how um, they're very disciplined with the resets. That is, I think, what makes this go. Mm -hmm. The looking for those resets. Mm -hmm. Two, three seconds up line, then you hit those resets and swing it on. Over. Yeah. The rookies are the rookies are working it. They are. It's so good the positive energy you can almost feel it. You can, you mm -hmm. can. Yeah, there's so much uh, defensive pressure that I think it really makes it hard for the nightshade team to keep making the easy cuts. So good on uh, doing some nice rolls too. Uh, yes. Florence rolling earlier too. Mm hmm That's right. Super exciting to watch her play so well. Um, she, she had a great layout block in the end zone in the Radiance game. Oh, another okay. pull is up. Claire Trope with the pull. Big pull from Claire. All right. So Nightshade needs to rebuild this. Gesso on the mark. Lettery Just a, a drop, unfortunately, by Ashley West. Quick turnover. Gives another chance to DC Shadow. Marge. Big shot from Claire Trope. Oh, oh Marie. Marie just missed it. Jump, jumped up a little early. Nightshade needs to come down and use this opportunity. Oh, oh nice try from Cat. Okay. Yes. Let's go, Allie. Oh, big that shot. Mark on. Okay, Marge has got it. Oh, nice jump from Marge. Job Elena had to jump time. together with uh, Marge. Oh, is there a call on the field? I think there might be a call. The yep, stoppage. call on the field. Looks like there's a stoppage. I don't know. Oh, it looks like Claire and Allie are talking with the observers along with um, Mary Turner. But that's during halftime, so calm down a little bit. For the intermission between the first and second okay. quarter, it's unclear exactly what's happening. I'm not seeing a lot of hand signals. Yeah. The POL uses a lot of hand signals, but in this particular moment it looks like everyone's busy communicating okay i th think that might be a is there a like an offensive foul maybe or a looking with the hands up i think it might be a, a contested stall but it was a turn so no one no one it seems like mary turner is saying that who's going to get here first oh Oh, it's an Maybe that there was a foul. I like this race. This is never okay. going down those stairs. This uh, is why we like oh hand signals God. up here in the Yes, oh. we'd like to see the hand signals so we know what's <laughs> going on. <laughs> okay, I think we're just, it's being left as is. But the disc is in is the end zone? The disc, disc is in the end zone with uh, Marge. Walker, um, I see up. Okay, it's the shadow not disc. Deep, not too deep, clear. Yeah, not too deep. Okay. So turnover is maintained. Oh, oh. no. Marge's throw, unfortunately, a little short, hits the turf. And uh, looks like 
that might be the end of the first quarter. DC Shadow had one possession because the time had run out, but um, because they couldn't uh, score on that possession, both teams go off. That's another interesting rule for the PUL is that for each of the quarters, the team that has the possession of the disc when the time runs out can maintain possession and score, all except for the fourth quarter, quarter. Mm -hmm. which is a buzzer beater. So, um, so you want to hang on to that one last time. That's the only shot. Yes. So Nashville was able to avoid DC Shadow scoring one more in that quarter. That's it. I'm sure they're going to be talking about how to <laughs> rebuild in the second quarter. Um, DC Shadow um, already showing some dominance. You know, I'm seeing, uh, looking at the the crowd and. Pretty much all the seats are full except for like a few ones or two ones in the red section. Okay. Very exciting game. That is correct because it was what was that starting you were All right. So if you are the the nightshade coach, what are you saying to your team right now? Oh, oh we're looking at on the screen we're looking at the twenty twenty three results from Shadow. Five one East Division champions. Lost a rally in the championship semifinal. Led the PO with 46 point differential. That's monstrous differential. But this is the first time they're playing Nightshade because they were in a different division before. And um, it looks like it just doesn't matter. They're going to keep dominating. But uh, Nightshade needs to rebuild here. Nightshade's records last year was uh, two and four. They were second place in the South Division. Mm hmm. They did have a negative 18-point differential, but mm. uh, their big one of their big difference makers was Jess Jesse Schaffner, and she is not returning this year. So we have to have new players from Nightshade step up into that role. Oh. It looks like there was still time left in the quarter, so they're continuing, and it was a timeout, not the quarter. Okay. Yes. And so, so Nightshade with a chance to get a score back. So this must be the last one of the possession. Yes, then. this will be the last possession. Eight seconds. Um, Sylvia Brown with the disc. Okay. The pressure. Nice oh, nice break. Elena Rubino with the disc. They can take their time. Oh. Oh, and they score it into the corner. All right. What's that? Mary Cowart yep. on the score. And I think it was uh, Elena Rubino with the assist. That was a very nice way to end the, end the quarter. Yep. There was, was nice a nice throw. around. Yes, number seven, Mary Cowart with the goal. That was a way to very much use the the eight seconds of the quarter left. That is, and to get another um, another score, especially for them. I'm two, five, two five two is better than <laughs> two five is better than six one, yep. and it could have been six one. So it definitely could have been. Yes, there's smiles on their faces. I think that was a good way to end the quarter. That's it. So. The sun's starting to set at Carlini Stadium. It's gorgeous outside. And perhaps the wind is getting a little bit less. We're it's hoping. hard it's hard for us to say from this booth up here, but Right, I'm looking at the flag that's over at the scoreboard and mm -hmm. it doesn't seem to be waving as much. Mm. So maybe it's calmed down a little. Okay. So what are you saying if you're the coach? Right now, we really need to kind of just be a little bit more consistent with our throws. I think there's a little bit of miscommunication, but that's about it. Okay, all right. Um, this live broadcast is brought to you by DC Shadow. DC Shadow is a 501c3 nonprofit. We ask that you consider making a tax-deductible donation to Shadow to help us continue to bring you these exciting games. We are so grateful for your support. Head to dcshadowultimate.com to donate today. Let's go, Shadow. And DC Shadow would also like to thank our sponsor, Washington Area Frisbee Club, WAFC, for their support for the 2024 season. 
WAFC is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that runs Ultimate Frisbee Leagues for youth and adults year round in the DMV. WAFC Leagues are open to all ability levels and learn to play leagues for players just starting out all the way up to advanced mixed leagues. Don't wait, join the action today. Register and learn more about WAFC by going to www.wafc.org. Again, that is www.wafc.org. And that's where we met, Osako. We that met on is, the playing field. That is many, many years ago. I think it might have been last century. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. All right, here's uh, head coach John Agan talking to the team. So what is he saying? Stay calm. Keep up the good work. He's a very positive guy. Um, used to be my teammate, actually. Yeah. Long time ago. Where was that? Uh, MBUC Gray mixed team. Oh, really? That's fantastic. Yeah. All right. Wow. And uh, here's uh, the Nightshade Scrum here. Okay. What are they saying? They're I saying, we're doing great. Let's keep up the energy. Keep up the legs. All right, let's go. Colin and Rachel, tell yeah. them what to do. I think now Nightshade gets to start on offense. So that's good for them. They scored the last point, and then they, start to s they get to start on offense. So they must be excited about that. Yep. There we go. Okay, so we are pulling, and it looks like, of course, Jamie Erickson is pull, pulling, has the disc ready to pull. Okay. All right. Jamie Erickson, tall addition to Shadow, DC Shadow. To the area in general. She came from yes. Seattle, right? That's right. She played with uh, the Seattle WUL team prior to this. I'm sure they were sad to lose her. We were happy to have her. Big pull from Jamie. Almost full field. Oh, wow. And Nightshade starts the disc. Nice catch. Yeah, we got Graham there. That was a tight. Mary McCann. Tight throw. Grace Robinson makes makes the throw over. Uh, uh, I thought that was out of bounds. Yes, the red line, unfortunately. Catherine Gilbert's throw just a little bit out of bounds. I think she was, um, I think the receiver wasn't aware that the line was just there. Right. Nice around from Caroline Normile. Uh, oh, Ash the inside from Ashley. Gentilet, just a little bit too, too much mustard. All right. All right. So Catherine Gilbert with the disc again. Nashville gets to try to hold. Brings it to the corner. Got just there. Oh. Okay. Big shot, but. Eaten up by Claire. Multiple defenders in the area. Claire was called for traveling. <laughs> <laughs> or she had a little jump there. The jump throw. <laughs> I guess it's frowned upon. Jamie. They don't let you do everything in the PR. <laughs> Jamie throws it around. Oh, big shot. Oh. oh, nice D from Tori Taylor. There she goes, number 10. Number 10, player of the game. Showing us how it's done. Okay. Okay. Catherine Gilbert again with the disc. Big throw over to a very open receiver, calmly centering it. Grace Castro with the disc. Patient offense so far. And a big shot. There's separation. Oh, and it's a score. 22, Rebecca Henley with the goal. That was very nice offense from Nightshade. Patient, yeah, patient, patient, there was patient a, and then shoot. Uh, I think there was a travel call because I remember oh. I saw something. Yeah, Annalise yeah. set the mark and then the person kind of was one or oh, two steps I down see, still. I see. So I feel it's going to probably go back. I see. Travel Not was called. That. Yep. Oh, 
I think Annalise called. Well, you did it Peters. once. You can do it again. Yep. Just shoot. Shooter's going to shoot. We'll have to tease Annalise about being a footlooker later. <laughs> I think the person just ran by them after she said them. Right. <laughs> Turn the corner, as they say. <laughs> exactly. That's going to oh. be eaten up. That's unfortunate. It's eaten up by defense. And Annalise with the big shot over to Claire. And almost to bookends, but not quite. Claire with the super dump. Carolyn Normile. Quick give go action. That's nice. To Ashley in the end zone. Oh, that's unfortunate. For Was that Anisha. Jess, right? Who sent that to her? Um, Ashley Gentlet with the score. <laughs> Jess Sarbier with the assist. That's what I thought. Was it Jess also got the D there, didn't she? Yes, she did. Yeah. Yep. It was a big block. Making the resets hard, I think, is key in this kind of weather because if the thrower doesn't have the easy reset, it makes them throw the hard throw. And um, if you can shut down the reset, it's huge, especially in bad weather. Especially in this wind. Mm -hmm. If it's all about the resets. And we used to call them dumps, which always sounded so <laughs> <laughs> negative connotation. But I like resets much better. <laughs> True, true, true. Especially when you're coaching kids, <laughs> it's easy to say. <laughs> like Reset, then yes. throw it to the dump. Nobody mm -hmm. wants to be that. All right, I see a couple of uh, rookies on the DC shadow line again. Emma Jones, Florence Brooks, Jackie with the pull. That's a good pull from Jackie Wang. And Emma All Jones right. running down? Yes. Sammy? Running down very hard. All right, Nightshade. Sylvia's looking for a round. That was it, as you were saying, that reset. Yep, man, reset the tough D on the resets oh, just oh. made that happen. Sammy. Jackie's Let's open. Go, oh, and a little bit over Sammy's head. Okay, Nightshade gets another chance at a hold. Just sometimes I think with the wind it just pops up, so you just have to really put an edge on it, otherwise it's very hard to control. No easy throws though, no easy throws. Defense is clamping down. They get it out of their end zone, doesn't like it. Too close, defender is too close. Oh, Ooh. there she's open, mm -hmm. Flo almost gets there. Nice catch by Nightshade Blair. Okay. This is a reset handler. Reset. Oh, yes. Tight space, but she catches it. Sylvia Brown. All the way around to Noelle Holmes. It floats up. And Jackie with the D. Mealy picks it are, up. Yep. Yeah, the floaters are very hard. They did a good job using the whole width of the field up until then, but it was hard after. Sammy is pulling. All right. Cammy to Sammy. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, looks like uh. there's a pick call. Emma Jones with a nice save, though. Way to catch it, Emma. Always feel on the picks. People don't go back to where the pick actually happened. <laughs> yes, they should. <laughs> they, they should. should. Then, as you're standing mm -hmm. in the in the lane, Cami Groom with the disc. She's got Jackie. To Jackie. Too much space Jackie doesn't like that choice, but she gets it to Lizzie and an easy shot to Flo. Hello. All right. All Look right. at that. I believe that was another break. Flo with her second score of the game. Shadow Joy. All by herself in the end zone. That's what the break, break mark will do for you. Yep. 
Let's that see. was a nice throw by Jackie. Yes, it was a very nice throw. It's that just one throw on Nightshade's part that um, either pops up or a little too far. And uh, it's very hard to give DC Shadow a turnover because they might not give it back. Exactly. I think that only maybe once or twice they've given it back. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, and then they've gotten it again. Looking at these players on the line, it does look a little bit like Nightshade is standing on a on a on a against wind because of the way the jerseys uh, are. Yes, that's I was thinking about that. Yeah, so they're going to have to go upwind to keep this hold. They really need to start holding to not let DC run away with the game. All right, right now though, Catherine Gilbert with her hand up. They have scored more by this time than Radiance mm -hmm. did. This is true. That's a bright spot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how bright, but it's a bright spot. Silver lining right now. Um, DC Shadow tight defense. Grace Castro with the disc, looking for the reset. Using it all the way across. Lisa Dang with tight defense, but oh, inside, Tori Taylor. That's finds nice. the middle, quick movement, good quick movement, a big oh. throw. Oh, it's physical defense. Hmm. Yep. But no call. Kat Ritzman with tight defense, aggressive defense. Allie Wallace with the disc. Back to Marge. Oh. Oh, oh. It seemed like a seemed like a point block, but Marge is calling a foul. I think there's a discussion going on. It's so hard to know if yep. Oh looks okay, like a term. it looks like either Marjorie didn't contest it or the observers I don't think the observers are active callers in the PL game, so I think they just they explained what happened. And Grace Castro, oh, oh, just a little bit tight into the corner. I mean, into the middle. So, those on the so DC Shadow gets another chance answer. at another break. Lisa Marcus with the disc that popped up. Does it get? No, it's not caught by Marie. So. We just I'm moved here from Georgia in yes. the last six months. Yes, she played with Atlanta Soul before. Yeah, and she played with Emma Jones. They were, I think, college either roommates or captains mm -hmm. together at University of Georgia. Oh, Tori Taylor with the with wow. the pickup after a, a Mac from her. Oh, oh, and it looks like she towed the line. That was a she? very nice catch by Rebecca Henley. Oh, is she calling out? It looked as the observer. It looked into me. There was, I think, a little bobble. I wasn't sure if, oh, I guess it was in. Okay, yeah. It looked like it was in to me. 27, Catherine Gilbert picked it up. That was a. That was big for the. Yeah, Nashville. Tori Taylor just, there was, I think, two people touched the disc and until Tori secured it. Yes. Um, and then very quick thinking, quickly threw it to her open player in the end zone. So that was a uh, Tori Taylor assist to, is that number 20? Is that Noel Holmes? Noel Holmes with a catch. And really s pulling it down. Yes, and, and, and towing her, I mean, she towed the line, I think, very, very smartly aware of the line. Um, that was a very, very necessary hold a nightshade at this point in the game. I think they just need to keep scoring and keep their energy up and uh, look for break chances because each point there's been break chances. There have. So let's see if, uh, if the D-line on the nightshade side can make it happen. It is that time, I think, in the game where legs start to get a little tired and uh, the, the small roster might be starting to be felt here. But I think the nightshade players were very excited to for this game. So let's see them keep the energy up right and the pull goes up let's go and DC shadow Carolyn Nomile, Annalise Peters uh -huh.
back to Carolyn Normile with the big throw go, to Claire Trope. Claire looks around. Oh. oh, jumped a little early. She had to jump early because there were two, um, it floated a little bit. And I think uh, two Nightshade players were in the in area there. also. I saw Claire look over her shoulder to see who was coming before she made the jump. Now, it looks like a zone-ish in the lane look. For Shadow. Um, oh. A whistle called? Perhaps it was a timeout? Yes. Yeah, it looks timeout like a timeout called. Timeout called by Nightshade. Oh, <laughs> they're telling <laughs> the Nightshade player to <laughs> drop the disc. <laughs> Don't walk away with it. <laughs> um, uh, it might be the Nightshade is recognizing with three minutes left in this quarter, they need to really score one more score before the quarter go the goes away. This is big. Yep. Mm -hmm. other games, Great opportunity for the Nightshade to really kind of be in a much better position. If they can just make it be, you know, 7-4 yes. instead of 8-3. This is a, a big break chance. Three minutes left in the second quarter. And in the background, we can okay. see some of the high school oh, teams warming up. I think they're going to do a halftime little mini game. Oh, nice. Yes. I think it's going to be HB Woodlawn and Jackson Reed. Very nice. All right. This is a big point for a Nashville Nightshade. Let's see if they can use all the time, not give back the possession to uh, DC Shadow for this quarter. Time management. Yeah, time management. Just as important this is tight there. defense oh tight tight defense from dc shadow i think jess sourbeer got her hand on that disc and she picks it up looks around finds carolyn normile goes for the around finds annalise peters Oh. For an inside, for a what score. That was a nice move by Claire. That was very nice. She knows her throwers. Up line and then duck back under. Mm -hmm. um, that was that was too bad uh, that um, Nightshade couldn't use the opportunity for the break. It was a good good opportunity. Right. I feel like that. Could have. Uh, I don't know if they really looked at their resets long enough. Yeah, I think the reset margin was very tight, and the thrower gave up on it a little too early. Mm -hmm. Although there are three minutes left in this quarter, so That's still time. There is time. I hope they don't get disheartened. They just need to keep fighting. Their heads are up, so yes. I don't see. Mm -hmm. No shoulders slumped and going. Ugh. That's right. Jackie with the pull. Scores eight. DC Shadow to three. Nightshade. And the pull is up. Less than three minutes left in the second quarter. Nightshade swings it over to the far side. Back into the middle. Oh, that's a nice, nice catch by Tori Taylor. There we go. Over to Grace Castro. Grace Castro with a big throw. Can she oh. make the catch? Oh, so close. Oh, I hope she's not uh -oh. hurt. That was such a good try. Is Holmes again? Rebecca Henley. Oh, that was Rebecca Henley. Mm -hmm. Holmes is 20. Okay, Rebecca. That was a big dive. I think she just needed to come off to to recover. Yeah, the turf can be very hard. It can really knock your wind out of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. So now DC with another chance and another break. Sammy over to Flo. Flo over to Cammy. Sammy with a good catch with good fakes to indicate what she wants and what she doesn't want. Oh. 
Nice. Nice. Down, Down the line. That was a throw from Cammy, right? Yes, back it to was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now back to Sammy. Flo is there for the reset. Back to Sammy. Oh. Back to Flo. Nice giving. And Flo to Lizzie. And that's another score for DC Shadow. Lizzie Loring with a score. Florence nice. Brooks making herself, putting herself on the board for both goals and assists. There you go. So how much time do we have in the quarter? Well, we have a minute 47. Okay. So plenty of time for Nightshade to score another score before the end of the second quarter. Exactly. Shadow, keep up that epic work. Here we go. Shadow hunting for another break. Now the score is nine DC Shadow to three Nashville Nightshade. Nightshade needing a little bit a little bit of pickup here. But to put a sc score on the board. Looks like Marie Pervier with the pull. Yeah, this is another kind of combo line. Yep. Looks like DC is trying to see what works and what doesn't work. It's a very short season, so Coach Egan was saying how they they're gonna use they're gonna try a lot of things to see what works and what's the most effective. Right. They don't have a lot of games to figure it out. So <laughs> Yes. After this game, what is it? The third of the season third is of already the season over. Is over. Can't believe it. All right. Mia Lettery starts it off. They're trying another give go. Oh, oh nice. And Lisa, Lisa Dang with a steal. Lisa to Alley. And Lisa shoots it to Jess. Oh, oh, and there's some bumping around. And then flying in. Who was that flying in? Uh, I don't know who that sure. was. Sure. Huh. Sylvia Brown goes for Nightshade to pick up the disc. Looking, looking for some, looking for some open cutters. Found a, a, a little break, functional break there. Lisa Dang with some, another poachy D. She's looking for another steal. Swings over to Mia Lettery. Oh, nice catch, nice secure. Oh, oh. a little bit tight. The throw to Bree Snipes is a little bit tight. Just so with a disc. I feel like they just need to take a one more second. Mm. It was a nice catch. Sometimes uh, right after a nice catch, it's Marge throws it down the line to Claire Franz. Back to Marge. Cat coming in for the lateral cut. Swings it over to Lisa. 13 seconds left. This is the last possession probably. Yeah. That's Nine, right. Eight, I'm not sure six, if they're five, aware. <laughs> Well, it now doesn't they matter, yeah, yeah, as long as they, they keep it. They can take as long as they want, as long as they keep the possession. Yes. Oh, not, not in, in, not Marie, in. Not quite in. Okay, Marie. So this is going to be very important. Oh, and ah. she throws it to Jess. Jess, oh. Marie, uh, Jess to Marie to Jess. And the time is out. Marie to Jess. Jess is a very active active player she can go in and handle she can go in and score that's it very exciting player to watch smiles on dc shadows faces yes so what does nashville need to do to rebuild wow i think it's that one throw that's going awry there is there's just one throw that is not i mean i'm sure there is defensive pressure but there's one throw that just is a little off every single possession right i feel like they need to use that small break insides a little bit more effectively they the started that with that the but dc then shadow defense is making it very hard and i think um Despite them getting a little bit, a little bit um, more tired, I think they need to um, work the legs to really shake off the defense before making their cuts. I agree. I agree. Looks like some high, high halftime action is happening on the field. Some, it's H.P. Woodlawn versus Jackson Reed High School girls. 
Heads up, I'm sorry. Are you okay? I have a sticker as a band aid. Okay. There oh, we go. Okay. Um, now, if while the halftime game is on, we are going to some commercials.
Welcome back. Welcome back to the game. DC Shadow versus Nashville Nightshade. Um, we are starting, just about to start, the second half, the third quarter of the game. In the first two quarters, 
Tori Taylor from Nashville with one assist and one goal and uh, a lot of impact beyond those stats, I think, on the field. On the DC Shadow side, rookie Flo Brooks, Florence Brooks, with two goals and one assist, racking up the stats in her first home game of the season. She is so excited <laughs> to be playing and a little bit embarrassed, I think. <laughs> she doesn't know what to do. <laughs> best, best smiles ever. Just pretend, Emma, Emma Jones is saying, just pretend the camera's not there. <laughs> As Emma dances in. Yes, Emma's trying to save, save her. All right, here we go. And the shadow are pulling, no, the nightshade is pulling, that's yes. right. Nightshade about to pull in the third quarter of the game. DC is leading 10 to three. Built up a big lead. Nightshade needs to come back hard. All right. Sylvia Brown with the pull. It's a good pull. And here we go. Seems like the breeze may have been a little bit, a little bit calmed down. Just as I say that, Annalise Peter with the <laughs> big throw. Oh, uh. just bounces off the hands. That was a. All right, let's see. So okay. Mia Lettery goes to pick it up for Nightshade. Now they have a chance to ha start with a break. That would be a great start for Nightshade. Grim's on the mark. Or Aaron McCann. Aaron McCann. Nice catch. Ooh, under pressure. Under pressure from Lauren Johnson. Bree Snipes. Oh, in the crowd catching it. Mia Lettery back. Oh, nice save. Sylvia Brown with a nice save and a round over to Mia Lettery. Oh, back to Sylvia. Oh, that's a good. She saves it from Maddie Swiggles, saves it from the turf. Mia Lettery communicating with her cutters. Oh, that's a nice break. Over to Rachel Barr. Rachel resets. Mia Lettery again. They're definitely taking their time, which is great. Yeah. I feel Reset, like they're give go. You can see Jess is trying to stay in the lanes there to make that hard. Yes. Rachel Barr resets. It's a very patient offense right now. Sylvia Brown, back to Sylvia. Back over to Mia. Just trying to communicate with her team what she wants. Oh, and Jamie. it's stolen by Jamie Erickson. And uh, I think we can, oh. Oh yeah. Say, oh, <laughs> she's going to insist <laughs> on throwing it, even though the first one didn't work. Jamie gets it, and an easy Ashley. pass to Ashley. That was a really good offensive try from um, Nashville, but Jamie came in with the, with the steal. And the assist over to Ashley Gentilet. That's nice. Nice patience in getting that, too. We'll have to give that hockey assist to um, Annalise <laughs> Peters. <laughs> I love hockey assists. I think there should be more of those because it's the thing before the thing. It should be on the stat sheet. I agree. Yes, true. Because you gain 30 yards. Yep. And it makes uh, it makes Jamie Erickson's throw to Ashley that much easier. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, that was a good try for a break, but it didn't happen. Catherine Gilbert raising her hand, showing that Nashville's ready for the next score. Just got to move forward. Let's score the offensive points and then aim for a break. That's all you can do. That's it. Starts with big, big cuts, big cuts into space. Tori, Tori Taylor with the disc. Wide, wide reset. Let's see. Oh, that's oh going to be boy. Claire Trope. <laughs> yes. You saw her turn yes. it on. 
That was just a little bit floaty. And inside to Jackie, and Jackie puts a big one up. The defender's getting there. Oh, oh, oh. but Cammy secures it. Nice focus. Yeah, that was uh -oh. good defense. I think somebody's hurt on the, I think the defense. Uh-oh, somebody hit their the injury who was the person who was playing D on Cammy, and I didn't see who that was. There, it's, that? oh, I just wasn't able to see it. Okay, she's getting up, she's getting up. So, Asako, oh, you we were saying, watch this. yeah, okay, yeah. number, is that 16? <gasps> Ooh, I think. Oh, that was Emily Branson. Yep. So, you are saying, like, they're communicating with the team, and so for those who don't play Ultimate, mm -hmm. how do you communicate with those who are on the field <laughs> instead of screaming at them on your teammates. Right, one way is to do as the thrower, you're, you're always in control. You use your fakes exactly, to yep. tell the cutters, no, you're not open, cut for me another way. Or you can even point, or sometimes you can even verbally say, I need a reset, right. or come on this side, give me a wheel. There are lots of ways to communicate and- um, It's vital. <laughs> it's very, very important, yes. Um, the, the thing that you really don't want to do is stand in there like a statue with a disc in your hand. Or even worse, cocked like you're going to throw a forehand and just stand there like that. Like, because that's, th that's what the defense wants to see. That's it. Yeah, that's not what your cutters want to see downfield, though. No, if it doesn't help your the other people on your team ask seeing what you want. Mm -hmm. so. All right, so DC one. extends their lead. Now with Marie Pervier with the big pull. Let's go, it's up in the air. It is up in the air, it's a good pull. Uh, and uh, Nashville back on offense, Silver Brown. It's a good good movement so far, Rachel Barr. Sylvia Ooh. with the big throw. Uh. Oh, nice, D by Marie. Yes, blocked by that was a little bit into the space where they were standing, so that was a little bit hard for the offense. Not running down. Yeah. Or running on. Marge Walker with the disc. Another break chance for DC. Over to Lisa. Oh boy. Jess has got that. So over to Kat. Yeah, that's a good cut. Lisa comes in. Cat over, doesn't like that, too close. Marie, over to Marge. Marge over to Ali, Ali looks big. To a very, very open, Cat Ritzman. I didn't even see who she in. was throwing it to initially. Yeah. Um, that was Ali Wallace to Cat Ritzman. My co-coach, she's the best. Um, she is fun to have on and off the field. Yes. Allie Wallace with the big throws. Allie very often comes up with the big throws. She does. Mm -hmm. Kat Ritzman was so open. <laughs> like a deli, as they say. It's um. Your mom's deli. <laughs> It's so useful when you're good downfield as well as backfield. Defenders don't know how to cover you. No. All right. DC Shadow extending their lead yet again. It is now 13-3. 10 up. But almost half of third quarter or more is left. That's so true. Nightshade needs to recover. And really, I think they really need to work on getting better margins against their defenders which is very hard against these uh, strong players on Scandal, but I uh, know Scandal, I did Shadow, it. I know, I know. I we, we, it. And we know Shadow. that, but that's okay. Um, but I think they're, they're able to do it. They just need to be disciplined about it. And uh, Shadow taking advantage by stepping into the lanes and making it really hard for clear cuts that's to happen. That's Mary Turner kind of looking what to do. Yep, and it's going out of bounds. Yep, the working it into the, and it went r out as she threw it, so it comes back to where she was standing. 
And Annalise immediately, oh, but Tori Taylor comes in with the D. She read that play happening, even as it was happening. That was a little head shake. Yeah, a little head communication, fake communication. That is Grace Robinson coming in with a clear cut back nice. to Tori Taylor. And it's a big throw, but doesn't quite make it to Grace Castro, who was intended target. Okay. Now Shadow has the almost the whole field or three quarters of the field to work down. Let's go. It's their break chance. Yes. Well, Nashville trying to stop. Jess Sauerbier with the throw to Annalise Peters. Nice down the line. Ashley Gentilet. Ashley. Big throw from Ashley over to Cami. Oh, oh, defense gets it. It was a little bit floaty. That was Mary Turner. She got the. She got it back. She got it back. Throw to Mary. Oh, oh, Tori Taylor nice. with the layout save. Tori Taylor putting Not it up again. Not having a lot of options. No, she didn't have a lot of options. Uh, Jamie Erickson comes up with the D. Can't teach tall, they'd nice. say. Yep. Carolyn Normile over to Jess Sauerbier. Uh, open. Just but didn't have just it. Just being careful, just being cautious. Oh, I think there was a miscommunication there. Yeah, I'm not sure if either uh, Annalise kind of slipped or stutter stepped or just didn't think it was going to be coming. Mm. All right, Nashville, another chance to hold. Catherine Gilbert with the disc. Faking to that her cutter's no. And she throws it long to Tori Taylor. Doesn't quite get to her, though. I think that was a on eight. I must yes. throw it far away throw. <laughs> <laughs> Just out here with a lefty backhand. Nice. Over to Carolyn Normile. Jamie. Reset. Looking for the reset. Looking for a clear reset. Immediately asking for it back. Just not giving it to her yet. Okay, there we go, that Caroline. Was good, that was that nice. That was good defense by Tori Taylor to deny that quick give go. Just Annalise. Annalise Peters over to Caroline Normile. Just good throws all around. Is it just oh, not oh, in? Uh, not quite in. <laughs> All right. And a lefty backhand from Jess Sauerbeard to that's oh, a Wong and a Butler. Oh, yes, that's nice. Was it Aaron McCann who scored? Who, who scored that no, one? No, no, no. I think that was, no, um, Lauren Johnson, yeah. Lauren Johnson with the score. Yeah, that was uh, two throws, I feel like, by Nashville that um, they had to throw a long throw because there was no cutters open. I think DC is really starting to maybe learn the movements of the Nashville team. They just shut down. Tightening, tightening the screws on the defensive side. Yeah, that was Aaron McCann who was being mm -hmm. thrown to and Tori Taylor coming in. This was a nice up line, but a little bit floaty. Very heads up defense by Mary Turner. Great save. Okay. All right. DC Shadow extending the lead yet again. So, now question Do you think they go home tonight or they spend the night and then go home tomorrow, see the city, or They are anything? spending the night here. Good. As I understand it and going home tomorrow. Apparently there was a lot of turbulence on the plane over. Oh, tight, tight defense That's by Sammy fun. Smalling. Yeah, Jackie right there. Yeah, this is good defense from DC. Oh, a little bit behind. Claire Tripp was very close. I think it was a D by her leg. <laughs> yes, just by existing there. Nice break by Jackie, Sammy, Wants a cut. Claire is there. Oh, nice. And finds Cammy. 
Somehow Cammy's always there. Yep. Claire with the assist to Ken Groom. Her third goal of the day. So Sammy was kind of looking to go up a little bit, yes. I guess. But, but Cammy was already there. Yep. They are relentless once they get the, the disc. They're not giving yep. it back anymore. Ah, and I just realized that uh, Cammy Groom is wearing Caroline Tornquist's jacket. Yes. Uh, yes. Jersey. Yes. Trying to confuse us. Exactly. We won't fall mm -hmm. for it. All right. 15-3. 15-3. All right. I think uh, Nashville needs to do something. The wind speed, the wind speed, one mile per hour. It doesn't look like one mile per hour. Maybe we're a little bit high. So it, 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 it's a little bit more. And it's a little bit of a swirl, swirly, yeah, swirly environment. Marie with the pull again. Nice pull, Marie. That's a very nice pull. It's in bounds. Down there. Nashville starts their starts their line. Catherine Gilbert. Oh, oh, oh! That might have been the shadow of Jess O <laughs> running running through that just distracted her just a little bit. That's a quick turnover for Nashville. They need to get this back. Marge Walker with the disc. Reset to Lisa. Jesso coming in. All right. Oh, oh the throw to Kat Ritzman just a tiny bit high. So Nashville does get another chance. Let's hope they can use it well. 45, Sylvia Brown to the reset. Again, there's not anyone clearly open on the break side. They find the reset. Catherine Gilbert looking Catherine for a downfield cut but not finding it. There seems to be a lot of bit of clogging right in the front Strong of whatever their stack is, but mm -hmm. no place to really, nobody cutting, nobody looking to make that next. Strong defense from Lisa Dang there to get the turnover. Let's see if Nashville can get it back again. Oh, that's yeah, floating, Jess. but it's to, adv the, uh, to Jess's advantage. And she throws it to Marie. No. <laughs> Just so assist to Marie Pervier. That's her first score of the game. Wow. First score. That's great, Marie. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Marie has scored. Flo has scored. I'm just looking at the, the rookies to see what they're doing. Well, Graham's not here today, but... Yeah. I would say that the rookies are definitely popping. That's it. As are uh, just O's cleats. The blue, <laughs> <laughs> the blue is really popping on the yes surf. Yes, it is. <laughs> hey, it's easy to follow her then. Mm -hmm. it yes. How does Nashville get back into this game? They're talking about that right now. I see some smiles. That's good. Keep the spirit high. Their legs are probably getting a little bit tired, which might explain why also they're getting less margin with their defenders. So the throwers are just hesitant to put it because the, the defenders, the right there, defenders you're right. are hovering. So they need to really work, use their legs to get open. I feel like right now you just want this one point. Mm -hmm. That's all you have to worry about is consistent. Oh, and of the front of where they are back in the middle is just a, they have to be a little bit more disciplined mm -hmm. of clearing into whatever their offense is and getting there quickly and so that there's not four or five people in a, uh, an amoeba in a clump in the middle of the field. This quarter though is a little bit reminiscent of their court, uh, third quarter against Radiance where they didn't allow Radiance a single score. That is true. It's a shutout quarter and uh, DC Shadow really dominating. See if they can make it a thing. Yes. Only two more minutes <laughs> left in the third <laughs> quarter, so <laughs> it could possibly happen. Okay, here we go. Nightshade looking, hunting for a score here. Hunting for a hold. Okay. Let's go, Nightshade. Let's go. We've got some Latin like and Blair kids. It looks like uh, Jamie Erickson with another... Big pull coming up. 
She actually does videos of pulling, of throws. That's right. Influencer. She influencer. is an influencer, yes. Mia Letterly with the disc. Oh, nice D attempt. Oh, and uh, the throw goes awry. Goes oh. oh, throw goes awry again. I, that might That's have been. Normile. Uh, that might have been a uh, point block. It, it was a very strange trajectory. It As it came off. Yeah, it's a bit hard to tell from here, but it came off her hand very strangely, so. All right, they really need to work. There, that's, that's an open player right there. Number three, Bree Snipes. Oh, oh get it. Oh, 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 oh. Did she get stepped on? I think she's saying that she might have had it in her hand. It did float a little bit. Uh, it's unclear if she had 100% control of it. Any time, so I, agree. I think it is a turnover. And oh, now oh, Ashley, and <laughs> oh, Ashley reels it in. Focus. Oh, uh. but the throw is a little bit far. That's okay, Ashley. Sometimes after a catch like that, your adrenaline is going a little high. That was really good reflexes on her part. Yep. She looks like she's a little bit upset at herself. Yeah. These athletes are very hard on themselves. Yeah, that was Aaron McCann with a good lane defense. We go. Stay inbounds. Yes, top. she's inbounds. Oh. Bree Snipes again. Oh, oh. <laughs> There's no way there's just one, one mile of wind. Yeah. <laughs> that's Maddie Swiggles with the disc and sends it downfield. They're working it very patiently. They are. Maddie Swiggles now over to Noel Holmes. Noel Holmes looking for a cutter. Reset. Oh, oh that's yeah, nice into the middle. One. That's good movement. And she throws a big one. Oh, uh, and oh, it's oh. 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 <sighs> almost, almost caught. Almost caught. That was good offense. That was very good offense by Nashville today. Yep. End of the third quarter. So they were not able to put on a score. Oh, that was the closest they came. That was just y a yard from the end zone. Yep. That was unfortunate. Um, so what do you think about this quarter? What what does Nightshade have to do? I think that I offense was good. I, I, I think, think they played so much better mm -hmm. in the last couple points. Mm -hmm. The last two points looked like they were playing the beginning of the game. Yes. The cutters were open. They were patient. Okay, after this third quarter is over, we are going for a short commercial. Discraft Ultra Star is the official disc of the Premier Ultimate League, Discraft, the world leader in disc sports. This live broadcast of the Premier Ultimate League is brought to you by Breakmark Ultimate Apparel. Go to breakmark.com to place your next custom team order or check out the PUL Athlete Collab stores. This live broadcast is brought to you by DC Shadow. DC Shadow is a 501c nonprofit. We ask that you consider making a tax-deductible donation to Shadow to help us continue to bring you these exciting games. We are so grateful for your support. Head to dcshadowultimate.com to donate today. All right, we are entering into the final quarter of this game. It's coming down to the last quarter. Um, it's going to be... Let's be honest, extremely difficult <laughs> for Nashville to come back and win this game, but there's plenty of time to put a couple more scores on the board yes, um, and learn from your teammates and grow as a team. They have had two games on the road and a uh, tough two games on the road, mm -hmm. so I feel like this is the way they kind of, you know, burn burning each other <laughs> through this. You're going through, not going through hell, but mm -hmm. kind of close to it, and now you're just... 
trying to figure out how to kind of continue to play at a high level, being extremely tired, yes. so that you can get ready for your home game yes. next week. And being covered by some of the toughest defenders in the league, really. Not even in just the in the division, in the world. True, so many of these uh, players are on the USA team, going into Club Worlds this, this fall. Claire Trope, as we mentioned before, on the World Games. Same. Caroline Normile, Caroline Jamie Normile. Erickson and Beach. Yep. Lizzie Laurie also Beach. Um, we have a lot of USA, Team USA players on this team. So it's, you know, it's a, a tough learning experience to be covered by these people and having to outrun them and outwit them on the field. I think sometimes you have to outwit them more than outrun them because um, there the, the pull goes off for the fourth quarter. They have to find, figure out how to, um, how to work through this poachy defense. You're absolutely right. That's a good, good reset around. Yep. Yep. Again. That's good working. Yes. And now it's a little bit tight for Tori. Is she going to get it? I feel like they work about three or four in, and then mm -hmm. unfortunately they throw a long throw that just hasn't been completed yet. Zoom Zoom Cami Groom coming in yes. with the D. A.K.A. Tornquist. That's right. <laughs> Masquerading as Tornquist <laughs> for today. Didn't they used to play together at Bruce Yes, Squad? they did. Team USA also, oh Arlen Tornquist, in so many times. U20, U24, club, Lizzie Laurie with the big throw coming up. Okay, here we see people uh, under. Very nope. floaty. Nightshade with the block. It's 22 who came off earlier for an injury is now yep. back on. That's great. That's good news. So during these transitions, Nightshade really needs to take advantage of the fact that that uh, DC Shadow is in disarray. But they just took, I think, their time a little bit too much. Um, so when Jackie, Jackie with the score. Did you see Jackie throwing the score? That's Let's right. Go, <laughs> <laughs> we just Jackie heard the, uh, really the stadium ready. announcer scream, yeah, go Jackie! Yeah. I think if I could more. give them one, ad one piece of advice to Nashville, I would say, like, when the turn happens, attack quickly. Yes, because right look right here, right exactly. Right here, we need to attack really quickly otherwise Sammy Sammy picked it up immediately yeah you need to counter attack really quickly because we don't you don't want them to be able to set it up that transition is your opportunity that's correct and they don't give you very many chances <laughs> there's not a lot of now times. the lead is extended to 17 to 3 10 minutes left in the final quarter their trope with the pull. I think they're going to continue with this um, Pochi in the lane. It's work, so person. why wouldn't they? Yep. Yes. If it ain't broke, as they say. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I think you get to give that to Marge. Immediate turnover. <laughs> yes. Defender is in your in your line of sight. It's very hard to focus. Marge looking for the reset, finds Claire. Claire finds Lisa. Immediate give go. Looking for a long shot, but I don't think anyone's there. Uh, Jesso was open. Looking for a little bit tight, a little bit tight. Yeah. Lisa looking, reset. You've got time, so go. why not? Inside to Marge. There we go. Much better. Marge You're right. to Jess. Oh, let's go, Jess. Oh, DC that shot. Beautiful <laughs> inside. Was that by Claire? Yes. That opened it all up. It did. That was unfortunate. The first throw turnover. And uh, DC Shadow, for the last couple of times, not giving it back easily anymore. Yep. Every time they get the turnover, they quickly attack and score. 
So now, oh, there's some Jess O fans <laughs> in the crowd. It's always a fan favorite. That's right. All right, we need some um, night nightshade fans screaming also from the stands. They could use a little cheering right now. Could get something. Yep. Where are the nightshade Just families? looking for them. Fans and family. We know they're out there. <laughs> And probably a lot of friends and family uh, watching this uh, live stream as well. From afar. Since they're, they're far from home. All right. We got to cheer Nightshade on. Let's go, Nightshade. Let's cheer. go. Let's get this. Annalise Peters with the pull. Want them to score at least two or three more. Just yes. for the sake of the Raleigh Radiance. That's just right. Get, get on the board. Yep. And it just... Lifts your spirit, too. It does. Yes. Nice cut coming all the way in. Was that Mary Turner? That's Mary Turner. Reset. Looking for the quick give go. Not happening. Oh, that's nice a grab. nice grab. That is Maddie Swiggles with a nice grab. Sylvia Brown centering it. Looking for the very hard to find a wide open person. I would say swing it immediately yep, and get right the disc back and moving. go. Yeah, yes. Don't hold it. Okay. Two defenders in the area. Oh, oh but she wow. secures it. That's a very nice catch. That is Elena Elena Rubio. Rubino oh. rather Rubino. I'm All sorry. Right. Oh, and they score Elena Rubino. Sylvia Brown. No, Sylvia Brown. That's great. That was a, a grab, all right. Yes. That was a very... I mean this grab was the good look grab. At that. Yes, look at that. With Claire. She just kind of went up. Oh, no, that's not Claire. That's Erin uh, McCann and uh, Annalise Peters. Annalise. Nice jump try. That was by McCann. So she went from... Mm -hmm. <laughs> there and she does not give up she's a very tenacious defender she is she is she is yeah tremendous defender on the field okay here we go all right nightshade gets a score on the board we like it let's go for one more let's see if they can get a break they've had break opportunities they just haven't been able to um take advantage or uh, just that last throw it always is the last throw it I really <laughs> is it really is isn't it why is it so hard uh, i don't know why is that last throw so hard yeah score is now 18-4 dc leading nashville all right eight minutes left okay got a pull the pull lands out, so it will be centered. Bring it to the center from where they went out. Looks like Sammy Smalling is asking if she's allowed to bring it to the center. I don't know if she n thought it went landed out or it was just put there. It is her first season. I think That's she just wanted true. to make sure that she was yeah. doing the right thing. <laughs> and immediately puts it up. Wow. That's a throw. Cammy Groom. Zoom, zoom. And over to flow. To flow again. That's Ellen Muller with the assist to flow. Lawrence Look Brooks. Ellen is on the board now with an assist. I remember Florence when she went to high school. She went to BCC High School. That's right. Local talent. Local talent. Local talent. A UNC stole her for a couple of years. That's but okay. She, she came back. She's back in the area. I think she actually played in one of the, for the COVID year, she was able to play a fifth year for the championship. Mm. Yes. She was tremendous in college. And she's tremendous now. Yes. She's a relentless cutter. She does not give up. She is just always kind of just, you mm -hmm. find her, like, how did she get there again? Mm-hmm. She's so constantly moving. Yeah. Yeah, she is. 
so great to see her flourish. All right, Nashville looking for another score here. Let's go. Yeah, we have Claire Trope pulling. Catherine Gilbert with her hands up. Here we go. Here we go. It looks like it's landing in. All right, let's, let's get it moving. We're gonna hold here for there a we go. Just so in hot pursuit, Grace Castro secures it, is looking for an around. There we go. That's a nice around. Oh, Marge sticks out her hand, not quite. Tori Taylor, who's open? Nice around. This is good work. This is exactly what they need Just to keep do. Keep working. Still, yeah, stay patient. There we go. Uh, okay. I, bl I believe that fake. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I believe that it's fake the from inside. Tori. Oh, it's a <laughs> nice, it's a nice catch. Nice catch by Grace Castro. Another reset. Over to Catherine Gilbert. On the far side now. Patience here. Oh, it looks like it's a, there was a pick call. Pick call by Lisa Dang. Grace Robinson with the disc, looking for a reset. Tight yeah. defense. Grace Castro gets in there. Something oh. else called. The timeout. Oh, I think there was a timeout called by, by Nashville. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Nashville coaches are very alert with this, the need for the timeouts. Yeah, especially r this is imperative that they score this. So just. That was really good patient offense up until then. The little break and then work it, work it, work it. Yep. And the disc hit that dump and swing. Yes. So that's keeping the disc moving. Yes. I think until about five scores ago, after about three of those, they were always throwing the. They're always the throwing deep. Yep. That didn't work. No. Nope. So now I think they're holstering it a little bit more, and um, it's getting. There are about. They are about. What do you think? About 20 yards outside the end zone right yeah, now? I'd say if 20 yards, yep. Yeah, they're so they just need to. They're in what's what called the red zone, so mm -hmm. let's go. Let's see if they come up with a play, how they can be, how they can be effective here. So camera's on Tori Taylor, expecting her to make a move, I think. I when think the team she's is ready, in yep. <laughs> when the team is in trouble, they tend to rely on her. A reset happening. She's watching. That's good patience, good patience. Grace Castro with the save again. That's good patience. Keep it going, keep it going. Yes. Good, good go. go. Oh, yep. Take your time. Yeah, she was very open. Grace Robinson open. Looking for Tori. Set. Around. No. And so here we go, here we go. Grace yeah. again. Allie goes into the lane, making it hard. When these players oh. go into the lane. Oh, it's oh a that's oh. a great grab by Grace. Yes, Grace Castro saves it. Yeah, patience. This is the most patient we've seen them so far in this game. It's been great. It's an inside. Oh, oh, but it pops off the hands oh of Tori no. Taylor. Let's see if they can get it back. Let's go, Nashville. No big, no big throw. Oh. Big throw goes up. Oh wow, Mike! This is a very I think the nice observer. big throw. That's a very nice big throw. Oh! Oh wow! Oh, Jess, the trio. Your stats were stolen, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> Again with a hockey sub. I know. Marie just stops right before the, <laughs> right before because she just had to. I just, she couldn't jump in. No, no. She couldn't jump in. So question at the end, isn't at the end of the game, some of the players uh, all meet up at the, is it the do drop in? Yes. Some people go afterwards. I hope yes. that Nashville is able to kind of. Go also. Go also and just. That was a, a bit of very good fast counter attack by Claire Trope. Three receivers in the area with not oh. a defender in sight. So, and it stayed in the air just long enough for all of them to catch yeah, up to I it. I know. That's it. Jess, your stats were stolen, girl. <laughs> I don't know. I would file can get a it back, yes. I would file a complaint. I don't know. 
<laughs> okay, let's go, Nashville. You've let's got go this. Nashville. You have let's five minutes. Let's get let's a couple get more. One on or two. We need to get a couple more on the board. And that is, that right there is why it's doable. Yes. They're looking determined. They're looking yeah. determined. They just have to keep playing like they were doing earlier. Yes. And that was the, the most patient the offense we've seen from them so far, and it was working. I think it definitely was working, mm -hmm. and it was just Four. an un unfortunate Eight. error. Um, Tori not being able to pull it in, but. Do we have a 4-3-4 four, four yeah. in the house? Oh, what's this? Okay, yes. the pull, three quarters of the this way. This going to look good on your wall. Nice. Nashville working the disc patiently. Nice. Grim. Yeah, Sylvia Brown goes over, centers it back to Sylvia. Patience. Somebody needs to come back in. <laughs> the pressure. The pressure. Ooh, That's wow. That's a little high. Oh, oh! That was almost a really nice catch. Now Carolyn Normile. Oh, that was a nice straight up. Big fake, yeah. She prevented the big throw from going up. Oh, I think there I think was a fall. I think she fell. I don't know if there was any. Yeah. Oh, you just have to... Injury, so. Oh, before the throw, I yeah. think, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Holmes. Jessica. To Annalise. Annalise oh. with a huge hammer. Oh! She oh, bobbled. She, got it. she bobbled it, <laughs> but caught it again. <laughs> Lauren Johnson with the score. For the first hammer of the game. Yes. <laughs> Annalise does throw hammers. She does like the hammers. Yes. You're right. You're right. Lauren Johnson making it dramatic. <laughs> she was probably thinking, really? Really? And then she bobbled it, but secured it. Anyway. There we go. Well, I do. Oh, oh. oh it was actually the defender that got oh, her hand in there, I that's think. That's great. Yeah, that was good defense. I do generally say that the hammer is the most underutilized throw in women's ultimate. I think that little scoopers, well, well upside down, mm -hmm. which I'm not really good at. <laughs> I think because I think we, we didn't play it as much. We don't practice it as nope. much, right? I think uh, they need to be practiced and used in the game because they can be so effective. Uh, All right, come on, Nashville team. Put okay. another score on the line. I think we're gonna. I'm gonna have a, a throwing session of upside downs. Now. Yes, I think it should just be a general. Yeah, something fun to do, too, because they are mm -hmm. fun. Let's go. Looking tight back. defense. Oh. Tight defense. Tori Taylor, big Come fake. On. Oh, Let's go, Tori. number five coming in. Nice. Oh. <sighs> I think she's saying that yeah. she had it in her hand. Uh, is that Ashley West? Yes. That? Yeah. Jackie with the no contest, no contest. She flies. She does fly. Good reset. She even break got break <laughs> mark. Jackie even got her finger on it. <laughs> Good patience from Nashville so far. Oh, let's go. Come on. The defensive pressure is tight. Oh, oh good. Good yeah. hands. Good hands to secure it. There's Mary Turner. 27. Somebody needs to. Catherine Gilbert again. Grace Castro. Back to. Let's go. Gilbert. Let's go. Oh, nice catch. She doesn't have that continue, She's like that a no immediate continue. Yes, so we have to do back and forth. Yeah. There are there suffering on the continues. Down. There we go. There we go. Back to the middle. Again. Give an upline. <gasps> Tori. Now we need no, somebody. So come back in. Now get out. Yep. Oh, oh she popped that's great. it over the head. She had nothing else to do, really. That was a long 10 seconds, but she made it work. All right. All right. So that is Grace Robinson with the score and Tori Taylor with the assist. 
She did a nice little pop over. There was a very yep. crowded area in the end yep. zone there. There was a lot of dancing yeah. going on. That's good. She kept calm and collected and just popped it over the defenders. And the defenders were face guarding, so they couldn't exactly. quite tell where it was coming. So, Asako, it's under two minutes and 30 seconds, isn't that where something happens? We, we just don't. It's at the end is the end. Is that the right? The end is the end. Yes, the fourth quarter is the only quarter where the it's not you don't get to keep possession. Okay. It's the timer. Yep. And so okay, that's it. Yeah, Just and that's it. That would be game over. So, yes, to be frank, it's going to be it's a tough it's well a tough ending for but they could end with one score. I would they like for them to have one more score. Yes. Let's go Nashville. There's plenty of time for another score. Okay, here we go. Pull by Noel Holmes. They are hustling down. They are hustling down. I think they're really going for the break. Marge Walker with the disc to Claire Trope. Claire Trope looking for a reset. Lisa oh. pops up, but Kat Ritzman is there. Kat's fakes are so believable. <laughs> they are. Marge Walker <laughs> with a big throw to a very open, Marie Pervier. Marie with that another goal. Okay, let's go, Nashville. You've got two minutes. Yep. All right. It's going to be a, a going to have to be a quick score because, um, like we said, it's a buzzer beater. So. Yeah, that's true. They do have a lot of veterans on the team. I'm sure they're very aware of. Um, what the fourth quarter is about. That's true. DC hitting 22 to Nashville 5. And our next game is what, May 4th? Is that right? Saturday? That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Can't wait for that game, too. That's right. There are very few. Oh, they're playing Austin. This is the first time we're playing Austin Torch here. That's right. Austin is coming a long way. <laughs> they, they're in the south now. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's going to be a very exciting, another first time matchup. Exactly. It'll be an exciting game. I hope the fans will be ready for them to be here. I will be ready. Okay, this could very well be the final pull of this game from Annalise Peters. And it's off. There we go. That's a good pull. A lot of the pulls were inbound, I must say, today. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, here we go. Come on, Nightshade. I mean, Catherine Gilbert around, keeps it in. They're not. Tori Taylor. Oh, oh beautiful, Annalise. Annalise gets the block. Uh, popped up a little bit. Ashley to Carolyn. She can just Back put it anywhere to Ashley. on the field. Yes, Carolyn has all the throws. Back to Annalise. Oh, oh doesn't nice. step into the end zone. Just Ashley. Nice. Ashley. With the with the score. That is her second. That was just. That was uh, to Ashley. It was who was that? Oh, it was just Ashley. Yeah, it was just Ashley. That's the third third assist. Wow. For Jess just there, everything is spread out. I just, I love this, that everyone has been touching the disc and scoring. This is a dominant showing by DC Shadow, I must say. Yeah. Um, the home team, the home, home crowd is happy. They are <laughs> on their feet watching. I'm sure they can't wait for the game to end and they can high five the players. I love that part. They can high five the players, especially if you're a newer player or you're new to mm -hmm. the PUL. That's just something that kind of makes it a little special where you get to see these these stars. So with one minute left, I think it's going to have to be a long bomb. Yes. Let's, let's see. Let's see what the nightshade pulls off. Okay, it's Jackie with Jackie with the pull. Nice pull by Jackie. Yeah, they don't have a lot of time, so this time, no patient offense. They've got to just make it happen. 
Let's go to him. Oh, there's a very open. Uh, number oh, 20. <laughs> yes, she was so open. Noelle Holmes was so open in the middle. Now she's back. Now she's back. Back. Oh, yes, good way to secure it. Okay, okay, here we go. Catherine Gilbert gets back. 49 her, seconds. She's looking deep. She's seconds. looking deep. There's no one there, though. Oh, there we go. Oh, she's back. All right, that was Mary, Mary Coward. 40 seconds on the 40 count. Seconds. Oh, let's go. Go. I, I would say the whole line should go. There okay, we go. we've That's got Jackie yeah. now <laughs> from go. the pool right yeah. where she was. seconds on the clock. Okay, Lizzie. I'm not sure there was a pool play discussion or not. It didn't look like there was a calculated long cut no. coming in. Seconds. Jackie secures it. High throw. This is her point. Yes. Oh, Jackie. Sammy to Cammy. Cammy, you just got to shoot it. Six, five, shoot it. Four, or they don't three, have to shoot it, I guess. Two. And it. this game is over. That's the end of the game. DC Shadow 23 to Nashville. That Night was it. Five. That was a dominant, dominant performance <laughs> by DC Shadow. Um, showing what they can do. They really did show no, the youth, the, the local youth. There we go. What they can do. The high schoolers are very excited to see their first. local idols Here play so well in this game. Yep. There we go. All right, I think we have like Hello. so many oh, stare. We have. I think this DC definitely um, achieved their goal of integrating the rookies and making them shine. 100%. Yes. Marie with two scores, two assists. Flo with three goals, one assist. Um, they're doing great. Sammy had an assist. Sammy had an assist. Ellen had an assist. Um, uh, let's see. Everybody did well across the board. And everybody contributed to the game, which was so amazing. The defensive pressure when they put, it, put on that slightly poachy, just saying heads up, lane, D, yeah. heads up D, is just stifling, stifling for them. And I think hopefully it was a, a good learning experience because, you know, they may be playing again in the championship, so. And the championship is ju in July. Monday, yep, that's, I think that's correct. Yeah, um, it's it's a, doing, uh, it's a not short and, uh, chronologically, uh, but very short in terms uh, of games. You're absolutely right, season. yes. So and, and you can't make that many mistakes, you can't. Yeah. There is no uh, hole that you can take uh, into. <laughs> no, and you have to learn, you have to learn from every single game. You have to learn so much from every single game. And I believe, um, I don't know the Nashville team very well, but I believe they were they were missing a fairly critical They were handler. missing like two or three people from their games yes. last week in yes. Indy Red. Yes, and also they have they have some rookies, and they were saying that because they are so geographically widespread, it's very difficult for them to practice. Which is understandable. Yeah. Okay, Florence. we are calling player of the game, Florence Brooks. Um, one assist and three goals. She was everywhere, all over the field. Um, great showing for her first home game. Let's get ready um, what a game for her. Five. We're very excited for her nice and just what she's growing into. Very, very exciting. And so much more growth ahead. Most definitely. You are an amazing yes. team. Oh, um, she played last season and last couple of seasons for the team I coach agency. Two. Just relentless on offense and defense, always hustling, always giving it 150%. And such a great attitude, too. Yes. She was captain last year. I have a feeling she may be looking for um, for higher heights this season, but we'll see what happens. That's it. Yeah. There's the local uh, local players, local high school players in line. Everyone coming high five. down out of the stands to yeah. high five. 
And Nashville played so well with the smaller roster. They really did. Number 77 is down there. They were All saying right. how there are very few female matching teams in that area. And so that's, that's how a lot of players come from fairly far away because there aren't other options. There you and go. Uh, that, that's an important Zero role for them to play and for female here, matching ultimate. I heads up or heads off. Player of the game. Yeah. Oh, the play of the game. Yes, now we get to see a replay of the play of the game. Oh, and there's some of DC. Oh, here we go. Oh, the hammer oh, butt. Hammer. To Lauren. And oh. the double catch by Lauren Johnson. Play of the game. We will see you in a couple of weeks for our Tori Taylor, player of the night for Nightshade Again, with like two assists and one goal. But her, her as I said before, her role goes way beyond the stats. Field, she was us, clutch catching and clutch cuts in. And she was positions. just there getting people out of, yeah, yes. out of tough situations. With the toughest defense on her. Yes. So. She was the one they were shutting down or trying to. Yes. Some um, layout catches, some great saves. Here we go. Okay, and it looks like they are taking photos, and we are done for the night. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Asaka. This was wonderful. Can't wait for the next game. Yes, this uh, fans are very excited about the season for DC Shadow. Thank you for joining us, and see you at the next game. Bye. <laughs>